I took a ceramics class at night, and the ceramics teacher told me, Frank, this ain't for you. And he put me in an architecture class at USC at night. I guess I did well because they skipped me into second year architecture. I'm a Toronto traditionalist because I remember Osgoode Hall, I remember University Avenue, Parliament Buildings, the Royal York Hotel. There is a feeling of Toronto that I had as a kid and I wanted that to be in the DNA of what I was going to do. We spend a lot of time building models. I'll bet there's a hundred models out there. There's a lot of the, the essence of Toronto and Canada that surrounds this building. I didn't want to denigrate that in any way. So I paid attention to the scale of the existing buildings. And then the views are incredible once you get up there. I've twisted it slightly. I've, I've broken it down into blocks as you go up. And those blocks, the twists are not arbitrary. Every city in the world has its own light, and the light is modified by the buildings in the city. And I wanted this building to capture the essence of it. It's not like everywhere else. The light's different. The heritage is different. It's a different place. It's a nicer place. <laughs> it's exciting. It puts a lot of responsibility on my head <laughs> that this is special, right? The architecture creates a, a culture in its way, and the people that live in it uh, become part of that culture. There's a, a sense of, of belonging to something special in the city. I hope that's what it is, that they'll see these buildings as, as different, and, and I hope they invite me in for coffee. <laughs> see here. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. True patriot love, and all love is command. With glowing hearts, we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. Ta-da! <laughs>